it just happened recently, and I've seen many people kind of come to this conclusion, which is Vim's not really for me. Vim, I don't want to use Vim. I don't want to do this. I think Vim motions are like, you know, I'm just fine with my mouse, all this kind of stuff. And then they start using Vim and they just give it a try because they see me go fast and they're like, okay, maybe there's something there. And then they start using it. And then I get this message. I literally get this message like once a week, which is I thought Vim was stupid. Then I gave it a try. And now I can't stop with Vim motions. What have you done to me? I cannot believe how good they are. And it's so funny because there's like this whole this like this like this whole cycle that happens where it's just like absolutely not going to happen. It's stupid to use Vim. I was the same way. I want you to know that I literally thought Vim was for just annoying neckbeards that just want to tell you that they use it. I thought it was dumb. I thought there was ain't no way it's good. And then now look at me. Now look at me. Now I'm like Mr. Vim guy. Okay. It feels upsetting. It is copium. Dude, I am full copium on this one. How did this happen to me? How did I get bamboozled? I am that which I hate. Maybe boomers are right about some things. Yes, <laughs> that's the problem they are. Dude, it just, it's just it's just a Vim user equals cowboy coder probably. <laughs> Ain't no IDE when it's gone, I know. Uh, but I mean, I'm the first stage transformer. I'm Vim curious about Vim Motion. Start with Vim Motions, honestly. If, 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 if you want to learn Vim, but you don't want to learn Vim, right? I don't blame you for not jumping into Vim the editor. If you never use Vim the editor, no blame, right? I don't blame you. It's, it's, it's definitely like a commitment. Uh, but if, if you have never tried and getting good at Vim motions, I think that you're missing out on a lot of stuff. If you've, if you've never tried the Vim way of, to approach text editing, you're missing out. You're truly missing out. Vim Tutor is good. I don't think Vim Tutor is that good. Like you can go through Vim Tutor, but I really don't think it's that good. Just give it a try. Give it a real try, right? Commit to like two months of doing it. Leave the mouse behind and see how far you can go. And what will end up happening is that you cannot believe how amazing it gets. It's crazy. It just is. I've, I've, I've almost, the only time that it doesn't work out for people is when they cannot type. If you cannot touch type, I get it. It's, you're, you're, you're already so far behind. You know what I mean? You're already so far behind that it makes no sense trying to make that jump. It would just end in frustrations, right? It would just end purely in frustration.